This video will open your sleepy mind about angles. This video is very special. You will never forget it. Good morning you all and welcome you all in your favorite YouTube channel Primary Ke Punk. I am Tarkeshwar Pandey and I hope you all are fine. Today I am going to say something about the angles in English letters. First of all, you must know angle is the combination of two arms on a fixed point. There is no any angle without arms. In this video, we will know that how many angles are there in each capital letter of English alphabet. We will know only about acute angles, right angles and obtuse angles in each letter. Okay? But before starting this, I want to revise acute angle, obtuse angle and right angle. So no, first of all, right angle. The angle which measure is 90 degree is called right angle. Now know about acute angle. The angle which measure is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called acute angle. Now know about obtuse angle. The angle which measure is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called obtuse angle. Okay. So let's start. First of all, know that how can we know angles in each letter? Look on the letters. Find there are minimum two arms in the letter. If there are two arms, then angle will be possible. Otherwise, it will not be possible. If the shape of two arms are forming like letter L, then it will be right angle. Once again, I want to repeat this rule. If the shape of two arms are forming like letter L, then it will be right angle. If the shape of two arms has less distance in the comparison of letter L, then it will be acute angle. Once again, I want to repeat this rule. If the shape of two arms has less distance in the comparison of letter L, then it will be acute angle. If the shape of two arms has more distance than letter L, then it will be obtuse angle. Once again, if the shape of two arms has more distance than letter L, then it will be obtuse angle. Okay. It means you have to compare with letter L. Okay. Because the measurement of letter L is 90 degree and you can find if the distance between two arms less than L then it will be acute angle and if the distance between two arms more than L then it will be obtuse angle. Okay. So now consider on letter A. Letter A is made with three line segments. And uh, in letter A, there is no any right angle and uh, no any obtuse angle. It has three acute angles. Now next, letter B. Letter B has only one line segment. So there is no any angle possible in letter B. It means there is zero acute angle. 0 right angle and 0 obtuse angle in letter B. Now consider about letter C. In letter C, there is no any line segments, so there is no any angle. So in letter C, there is 0 acute angle, 0 right angle and 0 obtuse angle. Okay. Now next letter is D. D has only one line segment 
so there is no any angle in d also d has zero acute angle zero right angle and zero obtuse angle now next letter is letter e and the letter e has four straight lines it means four line segments so there is zero acute angle four right angles and zero obtuse angle in letter e now next letter is f f has three line segments so there is zero acute angle three right angles and zero obtuse angle in letter f now consider about letter g g has only one line segment so there is no any angle possible in letter g so there is zero acute angle zero right angle and zero obtuse angle in letter g now next letter is h h has three line segments so there is zero acute angle four right angles and zero obtuse angle in letter h now next is letter i we are considering about capital letter so in letter i there are four line segments and in letter i there is zero acute angle four right angles and zero obtuse angle okay now next letter is letter j j has no any angles because it has only one straight line so there is zero acute angle zero right angle and zero obtuse angle in letter j now next letter is k k has four line segments if you observe carefully then you can find k has four line segments and in letter k there are three acute angles zero right angle and two obtuse angles now next letter is letter l l has two line segments so there is zero acute angle one right angle and zero obtuse angle in letter l remember once again you have to compare each angle with the letter l because l has only one right angle and you can find in each letter acute angle right angle and obtuse angle by comparing with letter l it will fully depend on distance between two arms okay if the distance between two arms is less than l then it will be acute angle if the distance between two arms is more than l then it will be obtuse angle and if the distance is equal to l then it will be right angle okay now consider about letter m letter m has four line segments so there are three acute angles in letter m but no any right angle and no any acute no any obtuse angle m has three acute angles zero right angle and zero obtuse angle now next is n n has three straight lines means three line segments so n has two acute angles zero right angle and zero obtuse angle now next letter is o o has no any line segments so there is no any angle possible in o there is zero acute angle zero right angle and zero obtuse angle in letter o now next is letter p letter p has only one line segment so there is no any angle possible in letter p p has zero acute angle zero right angle and zero obtuse angle now consider about letter q q has no any line segment so no any angle will be possible in letter q there is zero acute angle zero right angle and zero obtuse angle in letter q now know about letter r letter r has only one line segment so 
there is no any angle possible in letter R. R has 0 acute angle, 0 right angle and 0 obtuse angle. Now next is letter S. Letter S has no any straight line means no any line segment. So it has no any angle also. S has 0 acute angle, 0 obtuse angle and 0 right angle. Now next letter is letter T. So observe letter T. Letter T has 3 line segments and uh, letter T has 0 acute angle, 2 right angles and uh, 0 obtuse angle. Okay. Now next is letter U. Letter U has no any line segment so no any angle will be possible in letter U. Letter U has 0 acute angle, 0 right angle and 0 obtuse angle. Now consider on letter V. Letter V has 2 line segments. So there is 1 acute angle, 0 right angle and 0 obtuse angle in letter V. Now next is letter W. Observe the letter W. It has 4 line segments and uh, W has 3 acute angles, 0 right angle and 0 obtuse angle. Now next is letter X. Letter X has 2 line segments. So there are 2 acute angles, 0 right angle and 2 obtuse angles in letter X. Now next is letter Y. Observe the letter Y carefully. It has three line segments. So Y has one acute angle, zero right angle and one obtuse angle. Now next is letter Z and letter Z is the last letter of English alphabet. So letter Z has three line segments and uh, Z has two acute angles but uh, no any right angle and uh, no any obtuse angle. So we can easily say that Z has only two acute angles. I think you will have known about how many angles are there in each letter of English alphabet. That's all for today. We will meet shortly in the next video. If you really enjoyed this video then like this video and share to your friends. Now this is the time to finish this video. Goodbye. If you are first time viewer of this channel then subscribe this channel and also press the bell icon for more updates about this channel.